A lot of people, when they think of Perry Sound, they think of Cottage Country, Georgian Bay, God's Country. A lot of people don't actually know that just outside of Perry Sound was home to some of Canada's largest industry in the 1900s. They don't know that actually just nine to 10 kilometers out of town, they produced the majority of ammunition for World War I and World War II, and also a lot of the munitions for making all of the highways and mining in not just Canada, but North America. It was about four years ago now that I initially started looking into all of this, and I started to ask questions about this industrial past, possible environmental contamination, and the strange amount of cancer cases in Perry Sound and the surrounding area. When I moved there, I realized it wasn't just cancer, but there are a lot of other chronic diseases in the area as well. One of the pieces of advice that I was given was to shut up and stop talking. And that was a piece of advice that I listened to for a few years until now. I'm going to be sharing with you all of my raw data and research, such as the local history of Nobel, named after the inventor of dynamite. Facts like CXL manufacturing 40,000 pounds of cordite a day, and across the road, BCL manufacturing 80,000 pounds of cordite a day. The dumping of all of their gun cotton process water into a nearby swamp, which eventually caught on fire, lasting for days and reigniting for the following eight or so years, about two kilometers away from Nobel Elementary School. Why Nobel Village was forced to move inland from the shoreline, local stories about deformed and diseased animals, purple fish in Sims Lake, grenades in Georgian Bay, Ministry of Environment certifications for hazardous landfills and incineration sites, only a hundred or so meters away from Nobel Beach, a children's park, and the newly proposed residential development. The trenches that buried tanks of chemicals, the relationship between CIL and the feds, CIL's slurry production, mixtures of liquid dynamite and fertilizer. Which lands are being sold and retained by CIL? The locations of over 60 monitoring wells that have been installed since 2010. Cancer Care Ontario statistics. And the recent involvement of the Department of Defense. I believe that people have the right to a healthy environment. And I believe that they have a right to know if their environment is healthy. The more people that are asking questions, I'm willing to bet, the more quickly we're going to be getting the answers that I know so many people are longing for. There are a lot of people out there that are interested in helping you if you choose to move this forward. All it takes is gumption.